Remember when you was a kid, or some of you, because some of you probably just went to the the little candy truck. What was the name of that thing? Well, I know where I'm from, we had the candy lady. Oh, and we had the ice cream truck. That's what it was, the ice cream truck. Remember, some of you didn't save any of your change or your money, and then some of you did, okay? Or you ever seen that old guy at, at the little uh, liquor store or... <laughs> or at the bank, and he wrote up all his pennies, he wrote up all his nickels, he wrote up all his dimes, so on and so forth, right? He saved his change. Or you ever went to one of those machines in like Safeway, John, Foodline, Kroger, uh, uh, what's another one, Albertsons, one of those grocery stores where they had that change machine. You go in there, you dump your big old water jug of change. You're like, man, I got a hundred dollars in here because you didn't save you know, pennies, dimes, quarters, nickels, whatever. What happened to that? So you may not look at it on a big scale and people like, put your money, put your money, put your money in banks so you cure interest. That's correct. Put your money, put your money, put your money, put your money into investments because it's gonna make you money. But look around your house, look around your condo, look around your apartment, look around your flat and see all the change you have laying around and start your little piggy bank. Why not? Why not? Because most of the time I got I have change laying around right here. I can start saving it because most of us don't like change in our pockets. We either like our cards or we like hard cash. We don't like change because then you're like jingling, jingling. You don't want all that change in your pocket. It just feel for men, I know it's uncomfortable. Like we walk around and change it in our pockets. And for women, you always trying to look for change in your purse. Like, oh I know I had a dime in here. You're looking for a dime or something. But if you just had, you know, the dollars and you Every time you bought something, you had change, you wouldn't go save that change. After a year, how much money would you really have? You would have to really stop storing your money in those huge water just like Deer Park. Remember, everybody got the Deer Park? I'm like, oh, drink water. Anyway, you put your money into the Deer Park, little, uh, not little, the huge jugs. And I knew a guy, he had like eight of them filled up. Who knows how much money he had? He'd been doing it for years. It's just a quick tip that you can use instead of giving your kids all your change. Oh boy, there's some change on the dresser. Go ahead and take that change. And sometimes that change be like three, four dollars. You're like, thanks dad. You're like, why are you thinking me? There's only a few quarters on the table. It was about three, four dollars. Cause every time you come in, what you do, you empty your pockets, you empty your pockets and you put it on the table. And then with women, they change purses or pocketbooks or, or whatever you get, call them crutches with a crutches, <laughs> clutches. <laughs> You, you dump it out and you transfer all your ID cards and wallet and cards into your other purse and then you leave the change out sometimes, okay? At least that's what my wife does. But anyway, this is a quick tip in order for you to save some hard earned cash and then later on, don't go to one of those uh, grocery store change machines because they charge you. They charge you for giving your money back in dollars where you take a receipt, you go to the cash register and then they give it. Guess what? Be diligent. Take some time on a Sunday when my Johns are losing. Jesus. And roll up. Go to your bank. Roll up your nickels. Roll up your dimes. Roll up your pennies. Roll up your quarters. And then your bank is not going to charge you anything. And, this, and I'm not telling you to cheat when you do this. But they don't break open those little uh, sealed sleeves that you put your change in. They don't. So... I don't know if the sleeves hold 25 or 50 cents, I forgot. But if it holds 50 cents and you got 49, you think they're gonna break it open and count 49 cents and you have 50 of them? I don't think so. If you had 50 of them and you take a penny out and each one have 49, how much would your last one have? You just made a whole nother, <laughs> no, don't do that, don't do that. I mean, cause you are gonna get tired of putting all that change in there. You might miss a few sometimes, but do the right thing. So quick tip, save your change, roll it up, deposit it to your bank account where it can earn you money. But hey, let your money pile up. If you see a dime on the street, don't act like you, don't be bougie, pick that damn dime up. You see a nickel on the street, pick that damn nickel up. If you see a dollar on the street, send it to Ross World. I'm out.